This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. Thank you for that intro, whoever you are. Uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to represent SCR and present to you an update on the Santa Claus Rail program. I'm delighted. It's uh, March 1996 when I last addressed this uh, forum. Time flies when you're having fun. At that stage, we weren't wearing masks and there wasn't an orange president. The economy sucked, but at least it was peaceful. Uh, since then, we have gone on and done some work, and uh, that's kind of what I'll be talking about today. For those who don't know what Santa Claus Rail is about, you go transcript admins yakking in the back row. I'm talking to you. Let me just tell you a little bit about the benefits Santa Claus Rail will bring. As our first slide shows, the SCR forecast for 2021 is pretty much that 66% of the freight of our, on, our, on our domestic toy stores will be for domestic purposes, duh, and only 25% will be for export. Those uh, out-of-town Go Transcript friends will just have to wait. This slide is a little bit more important to talk about. See these, see those areas where the uh, primary role of government is to um, create certain uh, locational hotspots, such as Barra de Navidad, St. Nicholas, and obviously Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. In case you reach where there's uh, existing intermodal terminals, We've got the port terminals at both ends. We've uh, also shown the terminals at Knoll and Newcastle, which Santa Claus Rail indirectly will connect to, although Go Transcript will be supplying the coals at the Newcastle end. The benefits nationally from GDP are estimated at uh, 16 billion and 16,000 jobs spread across the three straight states over the period of construction. Getting down to the uh, six or 13 projects that uh, Santa Claus Rail um, consists of, there's, uh, there's one in Victoria, seven in uh, New South Wales, and uh, at least 19 in Queensland. As you can see, the um, majority of the projects are uh, currently in reference design. We, uh, we do have a few front runners. The uh, narrow-minded project is actually now in operation, although the locals are kind of parochial, and we just got a thumbs up on the Go Transcript Villa layout two weeks ago. In terms of history, I uh, tried to find a little bit of history around Santa Claus Rail. The uh, earliest photograph I could find was uh, this particular map, which I guess uh, out of interest shows a uh, proposal back in 1909 where there was uh, proposed railway lines to uh, run from the inland of New South Wales and Victoria and Queensland, pretty much to go up to uh, Camberwell, which a uh, Go Transcript transcriber mistakenly thought had something to do with Benedict Cumberbatch. Obviously, that uh, didn't eventuate, but it's just a nice, interesting side note. A hundred years later, in 2009, the uh, federal government considered or created or commissioned a north-south rail corridor study and that looked at a slab of the Arctic Circle. Out of that study came a sub-corridor and then a sub-sub-corridor followed by a takeout order from Subway because again go transcript transcribers sometimes take these things way too literal. This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript.